when you fail as Abraham failed in this passage, do you take it as an opportunity to preach the gospel to yourself and to preach the gospel to all those within earshot or eyeshot of your sin to say, God is worthy and I am not. Christ is sufficient and I am not. So when you sin, do you take the opportunity to preach the gospel to yourself and to say, it was never on me anyway. It's always been on Jesus. And it's not an excuse for sin, but it's a place where I can stop in my sin and say, Jesus alone is sufficient. God alone is capable to save. So when we sin, as we'll see Abraham's sin in this passage, it's a good opportunity to get away from ourselves and rest in the merits and sufficiency of Christ. So, the first point from this morning's message is that it's God alone who can save. The second point in the message is this. If He saves big, He saves small. If He saves in the big stuff, He can save in the small stuff. If He saves from cover to cover, from Genesis 3 to Revelation 21 22, He can save in all the pages in between. Amen? And if He can save you at your salvation, and if He can save you and bring you into heaven at your death, can't He save every moment and every page of your life in between? He can. 